Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force and here today I'm going to be providing you with a guide for roaming with Jaeger. He's become one of my favorite defensive operators. Number one, his ability, the active defense system, is incredibly helpful for your team when even a couple of people are posting at, up at the objective. But secondly, he has been a very strong roamer for me. As a very quiet with a low armor and incredibly quick with high speed, uh, he's just been like the ideal candidate. Uh, top it off with his weapon, the 416C Carbine, being very strong Strong in my opinion, at least from my personal play experience, uh, he's just an excellent roamer. So let's talk about the playstyle, let's talk about the gameplay, and uh, just give you some general tips and hints. So first of all, general principle behind roaming is for you to stick in a spot where you don't think the enemy will spot you, let them bypass, and then blow them up when they're not expecting you. Now this is actually enhanced, believe it or not, if the enemy in the preparation phase finds the objective, because at that point, you know where they're going, and you know where you're likely to not be spotted as you wait for them. Now there's different playstyles, there's more aggressive playstyles, popping out the windows, trying to find them coming from spawn, uh, but the thing is, I play primarily solo queue, and it's just, it's not really, it's not really likely that that's going to be successful in solo queue because you're not likely to have your allies that you're randomly grouped with checking all of the other potential spawns. So the best way I found to play him while playing solo queue is the stealthy sneaky manner. So find a spot to chill out, scout the enemy as the match starts with the outside cameras on whatever map that you're on, and then make your advance from there. As they push towards the objective, make your advance from there, taking them out from the wings. Now let's talk a little bit about his kit and, and how I uh, set him up. So we're going to be using the 416C carbine. Of course, you can try using the M70 shotgun, but if we're trying to be stealthy, we need something with a suppressor, and unfortunately enough, his shotgun doesn't have a suppressor. So the 416C carbine, uh, for the sights, I personally use the reflex sights. A lot of this comes up to personal preference, though. The red dot, holograph, or ACOG, if you're looking for more long-range options, uh, all perfectly viable. For his barrel, we're going to be using the suppressor. Same thing with his sidearm. And and I've just come around to suppressors over the past few days. I was originally very concerned by the reduction of damage, but I found if anything else, I've been more successful as stealthily roaming with the suppressor. I don't think that's surprising because it makes it so that they don't know where you're shooting from. So I'll be taking enemies out with their entire team nearby and they'll have no clue where I am. So they don't, don't know where to look. It's just been so, so very successful for me. And for the grip, of course, purchase the vertical grip as soon as you can. No reason not to decrease uh, the weapon's recoil. So that's for the 416C carbine. For the second weapon, the P-12. We're, of course, going to attach that suppressor as well. Uh, the sidearm is very good for taking out scout drones and things like that without wasting ammo on your main weapon. And then for his gadget, we're going to choose the barbed wire over the deployable shield. Now, that makes a lot of sense. I would say if you're sitting by the objective, deployable shield might be a better choice, but the barbed wire is a very good assistant tool when you're first moving out. Set it up in narrow walkways uh, where the enemy could surprise you from while you're searching for them on the cameras and you'll hear them as they approach. It's very, very effective for that reason, and that's exactly what I use it for. So again, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You let the enemy approach towards the objective, you stay in a spot where you don't think they're going to search, and then you pick them off as they walk by. It's been so effective for me. In fact, just this morning, I got an ace doing that very thing. Took out the entire team as they walked by me. It was fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to show you some clips from some gameplay that we've done over the past couple of days. Hope you guys enjoy it. This sort of displays my uh, play style and some of the things that I've talked about here. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and until next time, I'll see you later. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. You have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. Prevent further access to the biohazard container. Stop the hostiles from securing the biohazard container. Friend
They're on the wrong building. RIP. All of them are on the roof. recruits. Force careful, they're all in that building windows. Target located. Jim. Like they might be coming near you. Alright, I got it covered. Pretty well. I don't see them anymore. Deploying heartbeat sensor. They're in the bar. They? They're in the bar right now. All of them. Loading mag. One's lit. That went towards the left. He went south. Got him. Hey! We did it. <laughs> This is easily one of my favorite maps. Really like this map. Really, really like this map. Hostage was not located. I can't. Reservoir going up. See anybody in the lobby? Oh, up to the backside of Plaza, there, yeah. Going up the stairs, all of them. Going up. Down. Up the mid. Hostile located. Target located. Lobby. Two down. Another one. Off slow. Two of them. Right. Where? Ahead of you. Two or three. Two of them are there. Nice. Op 4. Last operator standing. My work here is done. Uh, four eliminated. Um, kind of just cleaned up the team there. <laughs> kind of just cleaned, cleaned up the team there. <laughs> that was insane.